Hello again, everybody. This is Colonel Mr. Everything from the 1st Royal Aerospace Squadron, and I'm coming at you with another update to Star Citizen. Today, we are going to do a slight, something a little bit different. What I'm going to do is walk you through um, the administrative screen of the organization page. Uh, if you're thinking of starting an organization, maybe this will help you. Um, if you've already started an organization, and maybe this will help you. Or if you're just curious, maybe this will help you. Okay, so as you can see on my screen here, we've got the letter of the chairman, 37. Um, but the organization system launch. It launched yesterday, and um, let's go ahead and show you what I've done with the first Royal Aerospace Squadron. Okay, now when you come up here to uh, your RSI, it's you, you come down here to where it says organizations, okay, or you could go over here to the community and where it says organizations. Those will actually take you to two different pages. The organizations here will bring you to this page where you can actually have a list of organizations that you can search through. You can find an organization if you know its name or you can create an organization. When you go to create an organization it says you already have an organization. What are you doing? Okay, that's what it's telling me. But we're not going to create an organization. I'm just going to show you how to create an organization. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sorry. I'm a little loopy. I had like three hours of sleep last night. Okay, so... Uh, <sighs> Okay, so you're going to name it, right? You name it like the first Royal Aerospace Squadron or something. And then you put like a Spectrum ID. What that means is the Spectrum ID. If you look right here, that's what your website address is going to be. It's going to be blah, 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 robertspaceindustries.com slash orgs slash whatever you pick. Okay, now this whatever you pick has to be unique. Okay, it can't be the same as anybody else. The names, they can be the same. You can have two groups called the Empire if you want, but over on the Spectrum ID, one has to be Empire 1 and the other one has to be Empire 2. Okay. Now, and you can pick uh, your archetype. Your archetype basically just says what kind of group you are. You're just an organization, you're a corporation, more of a mercantile type. You're a private military corporation, you're faith-based like um, a cult or a clan or something like that and then uh, a syndicate more like your nefarious ones like um, the mob okay then you come down here and you say what kind of what are, what are you casual regular or hardcore gamer you know are you um, I don't even know if my mouse is being recorded but okay well, let's hope it is okay because I'm pointing down here where it says casual regular and hardcore okay so you got the casual gamer you know you're just saying you're just having fun and then the regular gamer, that's like most everybody. Everybody's pretty much a regular gamer. You know, you like to have fun, but you're also competitive, you know. And then hardcore is like you're down and dirty hardcore, you know. You have these raids scheduled once a week, and if they don't show up, they're out of the unit. That's hardcore. Okay. Primary language, you have a lot of choices to choose from, uh, depending on what kind of language you speak. Okay. And then, well, we chose English, and we chose regular, and we chose private military because it's basically just set up like a military group okay role playing i clicked yes because there will be some role playing it's not all 100 percent role playing this should be a mix there should be yes no and mix or something like that but they don't give us that choice they say yes or no but uh there's going to be some role playing there's not always going to be role playing okay activities okay we get to pick two activities like what do you what does your group do um ours I put down security because that's what we're going to do. We're going to defend merchant convoys, civilians, and anyone else that asks us to defend them. But our secondary activity, I thought we would put exploration, but it's really that we have multiple activities. We're going to be bounty hunting. We're going to be exploring. We're going to be pretty much everything except for smuggling and piracy. Pretty much. We might not be doing very much. We'll, do, we'll be doing transport, trading, social. We'll be doing all those too. Okay. And then our little introduction, you click create organization and bam, you have an organization created. Okay. So let's go look at my organization and what it looks like. The first Royal Aerospace Squadron. Now I could have searched for it here under organizations. We can list them all and then, uh, or we could, and you can always go view all 
our newest organization or most active or we could just find our organization right we could scroll down but we're not gonna do that you all understand that let's go to our organization we go to my RSI and I assume that as soon as I, I, I can only speak for myself but I assume that if you join an organization under your Maya RSI you'll have an organization's tablet up right there and that will take you to the organization's plural that you have joined so let's go to organizations and there it shows you a list of organizations uh, I'm assuming there might be possibility of more than one organization here and I think those other options would not be private organizations I think this would be the private organization like a player based organization but I think that you can uh, join other organizations like the mercenaries guild or the uh, traders guild or something like merchants guild or something like that so um, now I could this is where you would leave it if you didn't like being a member of that group you just click leave and you can see our uh, one RAS we have 14 members as of the time of this video um, we actually have more members, but they haven't actually gone into. We don't have very many more me members, but we've got you know 20ish, 25. Some I lost count. But you go into the. Uh, they haven't had a chance to get in here, or I forgot to tell you, if you don't have a package, if you're not a paying backer of this game, you can't get into the organizations. You just can't do it. So you have to buy the game or back. And you can't buy the game for another year and a half. So, uh, or two years maybe. Who knows how long it's going to be before the game comes up. But if you back, and it could be a minimal backer, you know, I bet you, you have to have a package. It says you have to have a package. Because when I've tried inviting people, I said, hey, invite you to our group because he's already on our other website. And it told me, you can't invite him because he doesn't have a package. So we couldn't do it. Okay, so. So let's click on that and let's go in. Okay, now there you go. You see, you see this window here, this screen, this picture. I put that picture there. It gives you an option to put pictures, and I'll try to go through each way to figure out how to do that. And then there's our logo, and then this is who we are. We are a private military corporation. We are regular. We're not hardcore, and we are we have role playing. Okay, so, uh, and then this is the two, uh, there we go, security and exploration are our, our, our goals or our missions. And then uh, you can see right here, it's one RAS. And then these are the, these are like your, your men, this is your menu options, and you can see there's a little bit of room for additional menu options. Uh, admin will not show up on most people, only a few are administrator of one of these websites. And as you can see, there's only three really open for players. And on the description, it basically and remember every one of these spots has a like a text box that you can fill out and you can put information in there are some things that I couldn't change like this history manifesto and charter I can't change that that's what it is I might want to ch I would like to change this to code and I'd like to change that to mission and I'd like to change that to maybe history be fine but I don't know. I don't know what we could do. Okay, so here's history, and uh, you can just put your text in there. It allows you to upload a YouTube video if you want to put a YouTube, or not really upload, but uh, link a YouTube video on here that you can watch. Um, this is one of our recruiting videos. Okay, so then I go to members. Okay, now under members, it shows you who's a member of the group, right? And who's joined. And it shows you their rank in stars, and it tells you, like, these, these guys are troopers. His and he's the XO and I'm the commander, right? Okay, well, you can, uh, we haven't really hashed out who's what and where and why and when and all that, but um, you notice that when I hover over it, it changes to roles. Okay, so you can click on that and you can, as the administrator, I think, I can, or if you assign that to management, because there's a thing where you can be a manager, I can't, okay, that just tells me all about him. Okay, let's go back. Um, this isn't where you would assign the roles. This is just looking at their roles. Okay, because like if I scroll down to, let's say, the XO. See, he's an officer and he's a recruiter. And I'm just the colonel. Okay. Okay, so that that's members. But the, And then chat it brings up a chat window. Okay, you see it's loading channels. Okay, so really there's... I only am subscribed to four channels, I think. Uh, backers, 
and then I don't know what those are, and general. Okay, those two should be this, the, the squadron and squadron officers. Okay, but let's get out of chat. Let's go to admin. Plus, you can hit this, and you can open up a separate chat window, and you could drag it over your second monitor or what have you. Let's go to admin, because this is really what you're looking for. And I've only got a few more minutes before I've got to get out of here. Okay. Um, this is your overview. It also gives you a history log of like what's been going on on your site. Then you can go to branding. This is for if you want to change your branding, like you want to type stuff in there. I wonder if I can change this in any way. Manifesto. Either way, I'm not trying to change it right now. Just trying to show it to you. You type it in there, you hit save draft. And then uh, when you're done with all your drafts, like there's the video I was talking about, you hit publish. And what publish will do is it'll actually put it on the site. Um, just because you type it in doesn't mean it's saved. Okay, and then there's an appearance. Like you can change your appearance. Now, we're using organization because I like this font and the color scheme okay that's why we're using organization this uh, I mean this this color scheme there's like a lot of different color schemes you have to choose from I chose this one. I guess we're supposed to choose this one but no I chose well, I guess we could cho choose that one but either way oh I'll, I'll look at it later that was the picture I put on the front screen as you saw this is a picture I uploaded for our background when I show, go back to a web page you can look at the background and you'll be able to see that uh, this picture will be back here somewhere okay um, this is the logo I uploaded and this is our tag like on our forms you'll see this is our tag you'll see one RAS if you see anybody out there with first RAS you know they're from our unit and then you publish it same thing we go to members. This is how you manage your members. Okay, you got your members down here. And remember when I said I could hover, but I couldn't do anything about it? Well, now I can. Let's say I hover over this guy. I click on him. Now it's giving me a chance to assign roles. These are the roles that I've come up with and named. And these are the jobs. Now, this might be changed. We, have, we don't know what we're going to do with that yet. Recruitment. Recruitment, this is just a, uh, are we recruiting? Yes. Uh, they're filling out applications. Yep, they fill it out. And, I mean, actually, I don't have any incoming applications right at this time. That's what this is saying. I do have some outgoing invitations for them to join us. These are the applications that of people that are in our unit that just haven't accepted their application yet. And then... Settings. This is really kind of the most important one. This is where the titles of each of those groups that I mentioned, right? And then you have uh, what our squadron's called, but that one RAS is never going to change. Are we a private military corporation? Yes, that could change. Security and exploration, that could change. Casual, this, this all this could change. Just depends on how we want to do it. And it also gives you the option to concede the organization to someone else, or you can dissolve it completely. Okay, That's if you want to get rid of the organization. Then you go to public view. And this is what the public sees. Basically, your overview, the front page, and you can go to your manifesto, which whatever you've typed in, and then your charter, whatever you've typed in, and it looks pretty cool. I hope that ex helped you explain how to set up your um, how to set up your RSI organization for Star Citizen. Come back and check out any future videos that I might have on this, especially if they release the chart and the fleet view. Because as soon as they release the chart, okay, the chart. My understanding of the chart is because I went back and watched the video from Turbulent where he was explaining this system. I understand the chart is the ability to organize your guys into squadrons and and. Uh, uh, like department heads and squadrons, wings, uh, or if you're a business, you could change it up into like, this is marketing, this is recruiting, this is whatever. And then the fleet view, I think I understood that to be a list of all your ships, where they're at. It also has a calendar. It also has a forum. It also has, um, what was the other thing? I don't remember, um, but that was a while back. 
Okay, so go back and watch that video. That's by Turbulent. You can find that on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link for it down in the uh, comments. And thanks for coming out and checking out this video. Really appreciate appreciate you guys if you found this video helpful go ahead and like it like it really that really helps me out on my channel so uh, I'll see you in the verse